<laughs> this is City vs. City, the freestyle flying disc competition that takes place exclusively online, showcasing the top freestylers from around the globe. Brought to you by FrisbeeGuru.com. Here are your hosts, Lori Daniels and Skippy Jammer. Aloha, everybody. I'm Lori Daniels, and I'm here with Skippy Jammer. And we, Hello, this, is, this is the second <clears throat> battle, the second city battle for City vs. City 2020 season. And in this season, we have seven teams. We started with seven teams, and we're going to get down to, <clears throat> we're going to whittle this down to four teams, four different cities, which da- then now will then battle out for the final two teams for the finals in November. And the winner of City vs. City will win the keys to the city of Haynesville. Last year, the finals included Berlin versus New York City, which was a very exciting battle that really kind of came down to the very end where the tie occurred. And uh, both cities are returning to try to reclaim or claim the uh, city the city keys. Uh, today, we actually are featuring Berlin, who will be battling with a new city of Warsaw. Two other cities will be returning in the in the City versus City series, Bologna and Medellin, who we saw last month uh, battling up against uh, Toronto. Yeah, so um, there's four new cities to this format. So if you were tuning in for the last match between uh, between Medellin and Toronto, then um, uh, you'll note that the new cities are Medellin, Colombia, uh, Warsaw, who we'll, we will see today. We're excited to see uh, Riveretto, Italy, and then also Rome, Italy. These are very deep and exciting teams. Um, double the fun, double the tech, technological challenges, but uh, um, we'll pursue and we're excited to see them. Um, uh, so today that we're seeing a contrast of two cities where we, we see Berlin, who, as Lori noted, won last year, and they are stacked. They have mm. all kinds of superstars on their team. They've got Groff Morty, they have Freddie Spinner Finner, they have Fab Fabian Nicolaj, and then they also have uh, Philip Kruger and Stefan Dunkel. So all of those guys are quality world champion caliber mm-hmm. athletes. Contrasting that, you have the young up-and-comers led by Cuba Super Rad, Red Ones. <laughs> so for those of you who saw um, the World Urban Games in in Budapest, you'll be amazed how good Super Rad, Red Ones he is. Um, but he's also joined by a bunch of young, hungry, up-and-coming jammers. So if Berlin is now, Warsaw may be the future. Go ahead, Lori. Yeah, so anyway, we just wanted to say thank you uh, to the both all the cities that are uh, being a part of City vs. City Tournament and also our Patreon patrons for FrisbeeGuru.com. Thank you so much for your support. That's what makes these kind of broadcasts, including the live stream and shooting the Frisbees uh, podcast uh, possibility. Uh, we'd like to now introduce the teams. So we want to welcome to City versus City the five team members of Warsaw, Cuba, Super Rad, Radwanski. There he is. Matus Gajewski. <laughs> Cuba Opo- Opoluk. Yeah. <laughs> Conrad Patrice <laughs> and Timek Rotek. Welcome, welcome Warsaw. Welcome to City versus City. And now introducing the team from Berlin. Oh, Berlin. They uh, went dark for a moment. Cool. <clears throat> <laughs> 
Zaraz nas wyrzucą. Co stary, my będziemy grać tak, że oni będą mówić, co zrobili. Jest tak, 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 to jest tylko przyjść, nagrać. No, ja to już wcześniej na live stream, nie puścić w ogóle. Cały czas przerywa całkiem przypadki, no, przerywamy do nagrania. A, tutaj jak w While we're waiting for Berlin to reconnect, we can talk a little bit about the history of uh, city versus city, because we do want to introduce the Berlin players when they come back. So, Bologna's Manuel Cesari actually approached Jake a few years ago and said, wouldn't it be nice if our cities could actually compete against each other from our own places. So then that way we would always have to travel to be together. Plus people who don't necessarily travel for competition could actually be a part of a competitive map. And so actually Jake, uh, Jake and Randy ran with that idea and created City versus City two years ago. And the very first City versus City was, I believe, New York versus Seattle. <clears throat> and we just did a prototype version in 2018, and then last year was the very first city versus city keys to Haynesville competition that included four teams uh, last year in 2019. And this year we've expanded to seven teams, eight teams actually, eight teams. Uh, and then last month we actually had our first 2020 with Toronto versus Medellin, and Medellin came out ahead, and that again went down to the very last battle. So it's very exciting. In regards to that, and uh, and Medellin will actually be now waiting for the semifinals to see who's going to filter out and who they're going to play against in the semifinals in a in a few months. And Skippy, you're you were you've been a previous judge for City versus City, so maybe you can talk to us a little bit about what it's like to be a judge for City versus. City. Yeah, so so uh, it, it's really fun to be able to sit there and analyze what just happened with two different players on two different continents and then be able to, to uh, keep it within the context of, of them supporting their team. Um, so this, this is one um, uh, format makes it really exciting with that head to head um, uh, super pro style uh, competition. But what I really like about the current format is it pushes, it, it basically punts it down the field for the co-op. The co-op now becomes the most important event within this competition. So again, it reinforces this team um, uh, construct that we have for this for this type of competition. And um, to a little bit lesser of a degree, the pairs competition. But I really like that the final co-op becomes the most critical um, competition within this format. So it, it starts to set the stage. The one versus ones moves into the pairs and then uh, culminates with with uh, the co-op. But what I also really enjoy is what we saw last month with the, the shred off, the, the very last and final jam to determine who wins it all. And that's what we're really looking for is that is that um, of ending the competition on an upbeat note. It's really exciting. Looks like we have uh, Berlin coming back in to, to focus. Hello, yep. Berlin. Welcome back, Berlin. Okay. So, actually, you guys, we're, we are on, we are live right now. We're in fully broadcast mode, so we would like to have all of you players come up so we can introduce you to the audience. Okay, representing okay, Berlin, representing the Berlin, defending the city versus city champions from 2019. Merdad Graf Morty Hosinian. <laughs> Freddie the Spinner Finner. That's an appropriate name for Freddie. Fabian Fabulous Dinkelage. Philip Kruger, also known as German PK. Oh, I love the spotlight you guys have. And Stefan Dunkel. Yeah, Stefan. <laughs> Welcome back, Berlin. Okay, so we, we're we excited to have you all here. And uh, to continuing on with the broadcast, we're going to talk about the format and introduce to you the judges.
City vs. City is a battle-style format. Players are matched against the opposing team. After each battle, the judges choose a winner. Each battle is worth 1, 2, or 3 points, for a total possible of 10. In the 1v1 battles, each player is matched up and receives one throw. The team that wins the previous round must choose their next competitor and plays first. In the pairs battle, two players from each team play for two minutes, for two points. In the co-op battle, the remaining three players from each team play for three minutes, for three points. If there is a tie, each team will choose a champion for a final 1v1. Our three judges for this event are all inductees in the 2019 Freestyle Disc Hall of Fame. They are Bill Wright, Steve Hubbard, and Larry Impuri Alley. Okay, so now we're going to do the coin flip and we're actually going to start competition. So the coin flip will be who's, uh, Warsaw is going to be heads and Berlin will be tails. Please watch your screens to see which one, which city is going to battle first. And it's heads. Warsaw will be battling first and then Berlin will battle afterwards. So first we're going to start... One one v one, which is the one v one battle. The Warsaw, you need to figure out who's going to be the first one v one player. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And now, and then we also we're going to identify who. Uh, Delta, Berlin will select afterwards. Is that right, Jake? They select now. Okay, that's what I thought. So, Berlin, who's going to play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, Fabian. All right, thank you. So, Warsaw, we are ready for you. Jake will cue up your music, and you'll see it, and, and that's it. Okay. Okay. okay that well and we're off so that was timex and um he did a couple interesting pulls and then he just dropped it, it just popped off of his nail at the end. So, you know, it's it, uh, advantage Berlin, but it's a good start. So, good job, Berlin. You have Warsaw. Good job, Warsaw. Okay, unfortunately, we lost Berlin once again, so uh, I know they're trying really, really hard to get this connection well. So while, while let, let us know, Jake, when they reconnect. Meanwhile, I wanted to thank uh, the three judges, by the way. We could just got to see a slide of them. All 2019 Hall of Fame inductees, including my co-host here, Skippy, who has also been inducted in the Hall, Freestyle Hall of Fame. And then coordinating all of this, including the scheduling, as well as sort of the, the cities, the matching up the cities and everything, uh, with Jake has been Randy Sylvie. He's so behind the scenes. We don't get to see all of the back drop work he's doing but he's actually the one who's coordinating the judges which is no small task to do simultaneous to a broadcast um, as anybody who's ever seen or been a part of a freestyle competition before you know that judging or uh, handling judges is a big task so we also want to acknowledge Randy Sylvie's efforts out there invisible as it might be he's doing a great job um, with the judges right now for all of the city versus city competitions So as we're still waiting for Berlin, and it's unfor uh, I know that, so as people probably can suspect, we have like nine cities connected together, even maybe more. We have the three judges coming from 
three different locations. Skippy and myself are coming from two other locations. We have our our judge coordinator, Randy, who's uh, the head grip guy. And then we also have Saw and Berlin. So we have eight, sometimes nine cities connected together. And only uh, you can just hope you appreciate the level of technology <laughs> that this is actually entailing. So we really appreciate you guys uh, supporting City vs. City and Frisbee Guru as we as we try to uh, mesh this all together. So um, uh, I'd also like to acknowledge some birthdays that we have today. Uh, today's leap year. And I believe Scott Weaver turns 15 today. So <laughs> happy birthday, Scott. Uh, I think it's also Marie Jammer Girl Gear's oh. birthday. So happy birthday to Jammer Girl. And then also um, Ryan Young, I believe it's his birthday as well. So three extraordinary jammers. Happy birthday. I think you're muted, Lori. How did you get the leap day information? How did you get that? Uh, I have inside sources. I, I very good. Very good. I can't question. divulge who they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like Berlin is back. Oh no! I'm sorry. They are not. That's still Warsaw. My yeah. apologies. So, so. Um, this format is also exciting because there, there's more than eight cities that have ex excellent freestylers. So I can see this thing st really starting to go off into a, a whole new direction. We're, we're really at the very beginning of this kind of a format. Um, every every year that goes by, even every competition that we have, we learn something new. We learn a little bit more about the uh, the freestylers from these cities, but we also learn about how to uh, move formats around, experiment, make it more exciting. Um, so it's really a fun experiment to be involved with. Yeah, and, and, and I, coming from the inside, I can tell you that uh, I am. I'm. I, it may look like I'm sitting in Orlando, Florida, with you, Skippy, but the reality is, as I'm sitting in a living room that is literally covered with wires everywhere, above my head, below me, all around my feet, and so um, it is. And we have like different lights on going on, so it's very, very uh, technologically challenging. And and as this evolves. Uh, we certainly want the cities to be able to to participate more cities more often uh, and maybe eventually centralize this in such a way that the cities can actually run a city versus city with each other and then Frisbee Guru could this is a fantasy Frisbee Guru then could run the finals or the semifinals and finals right. and stuff like that but uh, but I can tell you it's it's hours and days of preparation for every single broadcast yeah yeah it, 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 some other elements that I really look forward to that I'd really like to see involved is uh, 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 more freestyle, uh, women freestylers. So more women jammers. We, we saw Monica from Medellin and she played fabulous last last month. In fact, first ever uh, that a woman won a point when she won uh, a point for their for the the co-op that forced the the overtime shred off. So. So, um, more, uh, great credit to Monica. We want to see more women freestylers in these formats. And Berlin is back. Hopefully, they've resolved. Yes. Okay. All right. So, if the judges are ready, uh, Fabian, you are up for the battle. Hello, <laughs> Okay, and there you have Fabian Nikolai, and he is an extraordinary freestyle. I first noticed him la uh, during last year's uh, City vs. City competition, and I got to see him firsthand both in um, Budapest uh, for the World Open Games and also in Seattle. He's an extraordinary jammer, and we just saw him showcase some of his considerable skills there. So it looks like uh, that's going to be advantage Berlin. Let's see how the judges view this and it looks like 
it's unanimous. Berlin. Berlin takes it. Round okay. Up. First matchup. Unanimous. Good job. All right. Good job, Berlin. So Berlin will be actually battling first. They're going to choose their next battle competitor. And then we will find out who Warsaw is going to battle against with Berlin. And then we'll have each of them play. So, Ste Stefan, are you the one going to battle next? Yes. Okay. So, Stefan. Okay. Awesome. And then Warsaw. Who's going to battle against Stefan? I'm going to okay. play. Okay. Conrad. Excellent. Excellent. Conrad. Okay. All right, Conrad. So, yes. All right. So, Stefan, you are up. Another solid round. Get some nice uh, hug overs, uh, a couple of freezes there, a simple little brushing run that he ends up with a little coffee break vacation. So that was a solid show. Good job, Berlin. Advantage, Berlin. Let's, let's see yeah, yeah, yeah. what we're <laughs> Okay, Warsaw, you are up. I just got this, right? Warsaw, you, you oh. Rolled moves, some, some uh, combination rolls, sets it up for a perfectly executed flamingo. Good job, Conrad. Let's see how, how the judges view this. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge because this is more challenging than what you may think. <laughs> also, the pressure on each of the cameras to perform is considerable. But the judges are... We don't... <laughs> hey, we have to see one vote, one vote, Warsaw, two votes, two votes. So Berlin is just Berlin. Second man. Okay, guys. so that means now Berlin will actually once again choose who their next battle competitor will be, and then we'll hear who Warsaw has selects. That looks like Philip. Okay, so Philip will be the next battler, and then Warsaw, who is going to battle against Philip? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's see Berlin. Okay, German PK, you are up. <laughs> German PK, you're live. Let's see what you got. Ready. Go. Okay, we're ready. Up them up, you know. Oh. 
just got away from him. Never, never and pulled that off quickly. And he just got caught up on the rim. He couldn't recover. So it looks like it just forced off. Yeah. So, first off, we are ready now for the third battle. It just okay. stopped oh, and, 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 and uh, clever turnover. So we'll see how that one comes out as well because neither was perfect. They were both very clever. I think Warsaw has a little bit of an advantage just because uh, Mateus's move went a little bit longer. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. And it's unanimous. All three judges say Warsaw. Yeah. So Warsaw wins, wins their, their first, first point. point. It, it is, is now, now two, two to one. one. Uh, uh, Berlin still, still leading, leading, but, but Warsaw, Warsaw now, now you, you, you choose who's, who's going to start, start the fourth, fourth battle. battle. One v one. Who's, who's going to play, play first? first? That's me. Okay. Okay. Woo! That's me. Awesome. <laughs> and and then Berlin, please uh, choose who's going to play. For the, for fourth, the fourth battle. battle. Okay. okay. Freddie the spinner, spinner, thinner. Okay. okay. So, so here we go. go. So, so Warsaw, Warsaw, we will, we will start, start with you. With you. And, uh, uh, okay, Kuba, let's see what you got. Okay. Woo! Woo! No problem. Oh, oh. Oh, the guidance was not quite there. Uh, good intro, good start. Some rolls, uh, tipping combination, did a perfectly set roll, and the guidance just couldn't find the hand. So, good effort, Warsaw. I would think advantage for Berlin. Oh, and they have lost Berlin's connection again. But so, well, they'll be back. What I particularly like about this is is um, the commitment that each of these um, freestylers have. So you only get that one try, and if it, it's there's no bailout. And as we all know, as freestylers, it's an it's perfect endeavor. It's never be exactly where you want it to be. So constant adjustments and time. Sometimes they don't. But it, uh, it looks like Berlin is back. Okay, so. Um, and, Okay, so Berlin is back, and the fourth battle is now, the second part of the fourth battle is with Freddie Fitter. Okay, we're ready for you, Freddie. That was a classic, classic Freddie Smooth. Lots of spins, like he's floating on a pillow, landing on a pillow. Yeah, he makes it easy. Um, he's so skilled to be able to do what he just did and make it look simple. That's that's a skill in and of itself. So well executed by the world champion Freddie Finner. And let's see what the judges say. We have one for Berlin. The judges are still conferring. 
All three judges vote for Lynn unanimous okay so as you know berlin now you get to choose who well i think we kind of know who the last <laughs> battle person will be correct uh, so. yeah graf morty world champion so what we're uh and then warsaw we know who's gonna <laughs> battle against Kuba Rodwanski. Okay, this is this is gonna be fun. All right, so Berlin, Berlin. This is the price of admission, right here. <laughs> right here. That's it. right. I love it. I do too. Okay, Graf, we are ready for you. Huge Z throw by Dano Edelman. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was a surprise. Super star. That was impressive. Like he had to look away from him, but he clutched so quickly. He just so, nailed that planet flaming guided. That was okay, so Cooper Rodwanski has an answer for that, I suspect. He just hydrated, and so it looks like he's ready. So, Cuba, we're ready for you. The last and final one to be won. by Kuba Super Rad Radwanski. Um, I was able to watch Kuba a lot at the World Urban Games, and, and he reminds me of a, a, like a little mini Joey. He never looks out of out of a character or off balance. He's so so skilled, and he's really a, a fun freestyle to watch. But he was going up against a superstar in Groff Morty, and I don't know if there's very many people on the planet that can stay with him. But this is also going to be close. See, it's a split decision. Uh, two votes in one vote, Warsaw. So point to Berlin. Four to one, Berlin. That concludes the one versus one competition. So now we move to pairs. Okay, so the what the score after the one v one is four for uh, four points Berlin, one for Warsaw. So now we move on to pairs and then co-op. Um, so we what this is a chance for actually the team that has the less points to come ahead. Um, so because Berlin won the last one v one battle, Berlin will be playing their Co their uh, pairs team first, followed by the Warsaw team. So, uh, Berlin, who is your pairs team? Okay, Fabian and Freddie. Cheaper. That's a big surprise. Okay, so then, um, so now let's move on to Warsaw. Um, Warsaw, who's going to be your pairs? Oh, excellent. Oh, matching Polish shirts also. Awesome. So, uh, Berlin will be playing first. Looking forward to seeing you two play. And then Warsaw. And if Berlin takes this, they win the matchup. So, yes. um, this is do or die for Warsaw. They need this to, to extend the match. Okay, we're ready for Berlin. So this team played together in uh, FPA Worlds. Right. They actually are probably pretty solid in terms of their the co-ops that they've created. Yeah, you can see how they move together. 
very comfortably. They know they know what they're going to do. This is all scripted, all choreographed. Nice spinning barrel by Fabian. Side pull. Similar catch to what he did in the one versus one. Now a little speed flow. Yeah. Really nice flow in this speed yeah. flow. Here you Excellent. go. Harder than it looks. Now they're back into their IZ combos. Yogi shoot. Brush. Okay, got away from them. Save. Still in save mode, playing defensively. Nice recovery by Fabian. Oh, beautiful, beautiful spinning bad attitude. You can see the professional calm between these two players right now. Back into the choreography. Oh, beautiful guided. It's a really nice co-op combination. Vivian, inside crank, turnover over the shoulder. Nice save. Hello, nice catch. So oh, we got 14 lost. seconds left, and then we just lost their feed. Berlin, we lost your feed at 14 yeah. seconds before the end. So, again, they were judged on what the, what yeah. the judge feed is what will be scored. Well, the good news is now we get to watch Warsaw answer the Berlin uh, pairs combination. Yeah, and that that was actually very well executed. Again, as Lori noted, uh, um, they're very comfortable playing together. We could see that their um, their choreography was in place. So that was a nice, solid round by the Berlin team. So now we move to Warsaw with the do or die. Do or die. Shredder die. We're ready for you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the equipment. Okay, go. I know flex shoot. Roll. Nice coordinated moves between these two. Yep. Moving well together. Good save. And he brings up. More maneuvers. Yeah, that adds a whole other dimension, right? Being on the ground, limited mobility. Uh -huh. Okay, come on. Uh, scissor kick. Uh, come on, Warsaw. They have a, light, a little bit of an edge, right? They, they're they kind of always on the edge a little bit. Yeah, they are. They really like to push their boundaries, play with risk. They're fearless, basically. They can bring home the guidance. That would have been big. But it's go big or go home, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, there are big home. Correct. Thank you, Lori. Good night, Beautiful scissor kick. That was. And yeah. nice bad eyes. Yeah. Get back. Last throw. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really nice attempt at the Oliver at the very end. That was yeah. a really high risk. I would think that would be advantage. Lynn didn't see the last second, so that won't be fourteen. But the veteran leadership and veteran skill is forming. Let's see. How well, I mean, I guess as a judge, we think about high risk, a big percussion, a lot of percussion was delivered by Wilson. You saw they were also kind of always on the edge. You weren't quite sure you were to get there. And so that was that was kind of cool. But again, the smoothness of the teams, if you know, world title, like second place champion team, it's, it's a hard so I think the coordinated yeah. to also have this kind of edge team add to the excitement, right? So so we see the judges' scores are now coming in and it's uh, unanimous Berlin takes the match. And they win the the matchup uh, against Warsaw. So congratulations to Berlin. Just one over Warsaw. But we're not done. We're not done, Lori. We oh, I know. Coach. This we is for bragging rights, right? right? <laughs> this is for, yeah, this is definitely for pride. So at yeah. this point, Berlin will be actually, uh, their last three players will be uh, playing co-op first. And then we're going to get to see Warsaw. And then we will finalize the, the points. And it looks like we've lost Berlin again. Now they're back. Okay, very back. good. So, okay. Berlin, uh, let's bring out your co-op team. Who's it, who's in the co-op team? We see Graf. Graf Forty, Philip Kruger, and Stefan Dunkel. Okay, very good. And they be okay, so we'll have Lynn play first right now, and then we'll introduce Warsaw's co op team. So then that yep. way we make sure we get this going. Okay, Berlin, we are ready for you three. And we're off. Again, the long competitive players. And using counter, moving around the gym, using space well. That control. Attack. Control. Control. Nice percussive yeah, responses. Vivian Skid, again, moving around the gym. Beautiful bad attitude. Like Rob Morty. Yeah, he has such great smooth style, but also his flexibility is amazing. Cool, a couple of little skid out combo. Larry Reale style scarecrow. Oh, it's not a Oh, that was an interesting behind the back yeah. skid sorts. Oh, oh, almost a great save. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Lots of beautiful skids by PK. Side down work now by Graf Morty. Another invert hold. Oh, come on, oh, we lost them. Well, they have a minute 12 left. So, Berlin, just to let you know if you can hear us, we lost your feed. Yep. There goes Berlin. So again, the judges can only judge what they see. So the latter part of that, of their routine will not be scored. Uh, so this makes it advantage Warsaw because all you have to do is go out there and finish your three minutes and catch the, the disc. Make sure you're executing what you're 
trying to do. So just deeply focus and pull this thing off and you can take the co-op round. Okay. Legends, so Warsaw. 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 We're ready for your co-op team. Warsaw, we are ready for your co-op team. So Maya, take the call, Maya. So, Warsaw, can you hear us? We are ready? I'm not sure if they, uh, they're picking up on us. Conrad, Conrad, hello. Conrad. Hello. Conrad. Yes. We are ready. We are ready yes. for co-op. Co ready for your co-op. Okay. We lost Berlin, so. Okay. For your co -op. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So we have Conrad Patrice, Kuba, and Matthew. Yes. Super, super Brad, Red Wonky. Oki and Invert Hold. This is the air pet. Step they're keeping a uh, pretty nice flow, except for the few drops here. They need to get a groove going. They do. They need to start focusing. Too many unforced errors so far. There's a nice catch by Kuba. You think back on the throat. Okay, now they're back in the groove, Lori. That was a big guy. I just... Kuba was just classic floating style. That so was smooth. beautiful. You guys are really delivering a lot of against the spin skids, I've noticed. Yeah. The speed is a little choppy. Oh, uh, dang it. Need to get it back in the groove again. Nice changes. Okay, guys. Feel the urgency here. There's an opportunity. Yeah. Okay, now back. Yeah. A nice flaming ghost catch. It's really nice to see the different variety of skills that these Warsaw players are providing. I mean, they they may not be like as smooth, but they certainly have a lot of high risk moves that they're that they're trying here. Yeah. That choppy speed. See exactly what they're doing, but it looks like a catch by Cuba. We're on a turnover right now. Spinning upside down Scarecrow. Over to Kappa. Clever turnover. That down brushing combo, that's very good. That was very nice. Conrad with the tip. Oop. Really smooth rolls. Yeah, very nice. That's one thing about rolls is that when they're smooth, they just are so lovely to watch. And he really passed it off nicely. Going to the final block. Roll by Kuba. Okay, this is the last row, okay. last row. Alright. Oh, it's the speed, by I'm assuming finished. that there was a spin in there. Yeah, I think so. So, um, again, uh, a number of drops, but there was some, there was some of tremendous focus where they really brought home uh, some fabulous catches. Um, 
uh, as Lori noted, some great roles, some really solid combinations. I think you know, what was happening was it was just popping out of their hands. They were doing everything right. They were making some great saves and, again, focusing on the great stuff that they did do. So good job, Warsaw. You should be very proud of your performance here oh, today. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Especially as a brand-new city to city versus city. I mean, it's just the chance that they, they actually brought their game. You, I mean, it's one thing to play conservative when you're under pressure like this, but to actually bring the full game and say, you know, we're just going to play and we're going to – do these percussion moves. We're going to do the spinning sets and, uh, and we're going to try the, the really hard spinning catches. So, um, so yeah, looking forward to seeing these guys play in the future. Yeah. And as we noted at the very top of this broadcast, then um, Warsaw is going up against the superstar team in Berlin, the defending champions who are just stacked with uh, current world champions, future world champions, former world champions. That's a, that's a formidable endeavor mm -hmm. for them. But Warsaw is really the future. Uh, these guys are young, they're hungry, they're talented, and the more they keep playing, the better they're going to get. So keep your eye on Warsaw. I really love the energy that these guys yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, and and we and we got a taste of that during the World Urban Games too with uh, Kuba and Marisha there, and I'm so excited to see that there is a woman jammer actually in the gym, even though she didn't play today. Hey, Maya, thank you, Maya, for being there uh, with the team. That's so awesome. We really look forward to seeing a lot of, of, of female energy because it really adds a lot to the jamming communities when we have women mixed in with the men. And so thank you for being a part of that. Um, it, hope we, go ahead. So we have, a, we have a split decision. Um, so one vote for Warsaw, two votes for Berlin. Berlin takes this match nine to one. Congratulations, Berlin. You advance to the semifinals. So congratulations. And... All credit back to Warsaw. The score is not reflective of their considerable skill. Uh, so a uh, uh, round of applause also for Warsaw. We're very proud of how you performed today. Absolutely. You guys you guys were true contenders. You did not you did not uh, concede uh, to the reputation of Berlin that they're defending, but you guys really stepped it up. So I agree that the, the score does not really reflect how well Warsaw played. Um, but Berlin does win the second city battle of round one. This is all round one. We're doing a round, uh, and then we're going to reduce it down to four teams. The top four teams will be semifinals. Um, so the upcoming battles, actually. So uh, today was Berlin versus Warsaw. And, and uh, next month, exactly in about a month from today, March 28th, we're going to have New York City versus Rovereto. New York City coming back as uh, the finalists. And uh, Rovereto, a new team that we're adding to the docket. And then about three weeks later, we'll have Bologna versus Rome. Um, so then... Uh, we will actually have the first semifinal battle September 26th, and then we'll have the second city semifinal in October, and then the final city versus city. We're taking this all the way to November, folks, so it's going to be pretty exciting to see who wins the keys to this year's city versus city, who wins the keys to Haynesville. Um, I want to thank... Uh, everybody behind the scenes, my co-host, Skippy Jammer, who's awesome. Love having you here co-hosting with me. Um, and the guy behind the scenes, one of the guys behind the scenes, Jake Gothier, who's like literally running around doing so much stuff. Uh, I mean, again, he's surrounded my living room with wires. And then behind the scenes, we also have the three judges, Bill Wright, Steve Hubbard, and Larry Imperiali, and the judging director, Randy Sylvie, who's actually been doing a lot of orchestration. And we want to thank Discraft, Exodus, all of our Frisbee Guru patrons, and donors. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because we can't do this without you. And uh, and you can become a sponsor, too, if you're interested, frisbeeguru.com. Just check on the Patreon or the donation, uh, donation page. And Skippy, what else? This is fun. Every um, Again, every time we do one of these, we learn something new. We see something new. It's so exciting. Um, the score was not reflective of what we saw out there on the, on the gym floor. Uh, I really love Warsaw's energy. They're an up-and-coming team. Uh, Berlin, it looks formidable. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat them. So yep. this has been a, a great time. Congratulations to Berlin, and we'll see you all next month. Where's Warsaw? Where did Warsaw go? Did we, did we lose them? No. No, no. no. Oh, there you are. Okay, so we got 
We lost okay. Berlin. So we lost Berlin. Okay. Well, anyway, that's that. That concludes the second city battle of city versus city, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. It was super fun, and uh, and we'll see you next month when we have the third city round one city versus city battle. Thanks all for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Aloha. Aloha. Woo!